Hello everybody and I'm Deborah with DC Fine Art and today I am going to be experimenting with some of these Liquitex basic acrylic inks and I'm guessing that they're like um, an India ink which is kind of they are not water soluble but um, they are water um, based so it is a permanent ink and I have been working on a project already and it's just a little thing that I decided to do and I was using my Fiber Castell Pit Artist Pins. Now I have done a video using these artist pit pins um, doing like an urban little sketch you know kind of playing around with them and I've been working with these for a little while now and I absolutely love these artist pit pins but whenever I thought about it, I was like, well, you know what? Maybe I can create a piece, like a whole piece out of these. And I started working on this guy. I haven't finished him yet, but he's like a parrot. I drew him up and then started using these um, pit pens, like ink pens on them, or these ink brush pens, which are kind of similar to a marker, but it's got a little bit of a point on it. I don't know if you can see that better if I did it that way. Um, and yeah, I started using them. And then I took out a scratch paper and I wanted to see what I could do like for a background back behind him. And I tried to do like some little like, um, and not on him, not on this thing. This is just, you know, just for fun. But I tried using like another piece of paper just similar to this and I tried doing like brushing over them with these artist pit pens and I started to realize that they were making marks like marker marks and then I thought okay well I could have to go over it like several several times but then with this paper which is the I think it's like the B paper that I'm using for marker it's marker B paper it doesn't take as much like if you go over and over and over it, it can actually soften it and start to kind of ruin the paper. So I was trying to figure out what I could do with keeping to the whole ink concept. So using the bird, uh, you know, he's going to be an in ink, but then also I want the background to be ink. So it dawned on me to get these Liquitex acrylic inks and... They come in 30, I guess it's like 30 milliliter uh, little bottles. They got a little squeezy top on them. And you can put them in a palette and you can actually paint with them too. Um, you can add a little water and kind of dilute them however which you choose. It comes with like a little dropper. I don't want to get that all over the paper. But a little dropper that you can easily drop into a little palette or this time I decided to put them in these little spray bottles which are like... 30, I think it's like 30 milliliter bottles. Let me see here. I think they're, yeah, 30 milliliter bottles, spray bottles. I got these. It came in like a six pack. And it says here on the packaging, it says Lisa's, Lisa pack. But it even came with this cute little funnel that I could stick in there and then pour the water in. And then I added like eight or nine drops of the ink inside of it and mixed it up. And what I'm going to do is the first time ever I've never done this before so this is all new but I only I have him like partially done so you got some of this stuff here and some of it is not even I haven't done anything with but I'm going to use the original frisket film I am going to lay this on top of the bird and then I'm going to use my exacto knife and cut it out and that way it protects um, the bird from like whenever I spray with these spray bottles with these ink in it I'm gonna spray and kind of add like a misty background to them and I'm hoping don't know if it's gonna look that way but kind of similar to like an airbrush look is what I'm kind of going for just like something like like tropical because I definitely want it tropical and I got some different colors here like reds and orange purples, blues, and greens, and that way I can get the background done, 
and then I'm gonna peel off the frisket and we're actually gonna see what that does hopefully it doesn't like I don't know tear apart the paper but even with the bird already being done and then peeling it off if it affects it or if you know it has to be before you actually do the bird so we're gonna be experimenting here so let me go ahead and get the frisket and I'm gonna go ahead and get that on there and use the exacto knife and cut him out and then we'll be right back so let me go ahead and get that done and we'll start doing the missing and experimenting So now I already got the um, frisket film. I've got him covering the um, little parrot that I'm working on. So all of this is exposed. So now I can go ahead and try out my colors. So, I mean, I don't know exactly. I mean, I just kind of picked out all these little tropical colors like the yellows and the blues. I picked out red, orange, purple, and green and I chose all these different colors and I know it's kind of a mixture of almost every single color the purple I'm not for sure if I'm actually gonna use on him um, but I mixed it up anyway just to kind of see if I did want a purple color I would already have it mixed up and then I chose some of the like orange um, maybe for like a sunset I could do either, either a sunset and then the greens and the blues like ocean and leaves kind of look to it I don't know I don't know what this is gonna look like to be honest so it may end up being a fail so I'm not for sure so one way to try it out is to go ahead and just start spraying now I lay down a bunch of stuff all the way around I'm doing this at my desk cuz so I'm not for sure if I'm gonna make the world's biggest mess Hopefully I don't. This stuff is permanent. So it'd be kind of a shame. Now, I think I'm gonna actually gonna do a couple sprays in my trash can just to make sure there ain't no. Yeah, like some air bubbles kind of in it. All right, here we go. I'm scared now. So I do see, whoa, my camera like totally 
I don't know what happened. My camera went blurred out. I wonder if I got um, anything on the lens here. You can see my old hand. Um, hmm. I don't know why that went blurry on you guys. Let me see. Let me get a paper towel. Because I'm not for sure if I just like got some on the lens. I don't think I did. But it almost looks like my camera kind of went out of focus there for a moment. I wonder if it still is. Huh. Hold on one second. It's a little odd. I've never had my camera just like all of a sudden sensor go crazy here and it's like oh there we go I don't know maybe something got on the sensor maybe I'm doing something here but it's a little bit of a yellowish color there now I'm gonna go ahead and add some orange and I don't really see it definitely got the um, reds are kind of showing it looks like the paper is not handling it very well though and that could be the case see here some of the greens let's do more yellows for the top I mean it may dry flat I don't really know yeah I'm not for sure and I am so so sorry about this I mean my I am so sorry <laughs> my phone just went berserk hopefully I didn't lose you guys I got my phone on silent but um, <laughs> doesn't seem to help um, so I'm trying to dry this off on the paper there this looks like a muddy mess and you know it probably would look or stick better I mean I can see a little bit of a hint of color I mean, I can see the greens, which I know this camera probably can't see it. I can see the yellows. I can see the reds. So maybe once this dries, which I'll let it go ahead and have time to dry, and then um, see about adding another layer to it. And we'll see if it actually dries flat, because I can tell some bubbling. This is not really a watercolor paper. So it could bubble a little bit. But I don't know if it'll actually dry flat. So we shall see. So let's go ahead and give it a moment. I'm going to let it dry a little bit. I may take a little hair dryer to it and just kind of see. And let's see if it dries out flat and if the colors start brightening it up once it dries. So hold on one moment and we'll, we'll check it out. Plus I'll clean up this mess. Alrighty, so I went ahead and dried it off with the mar or with the dryer, and I can tell where there's some shadowing, like some shading going on, but it's really not that bright. I can see a little bit of yellows, I see reds, I see a little bit of green. And the camera, it's like you don't really see it. It's not standing out. It is very, very translucent. So I'm kind of curious here. If I don't add any, like if I add just a little bit more of the green, is it going to like, maybe I didn't add enough. So 
so I did probably about eight drops of the ink in this. So I'm kind of wondering if I add just maybe a little bit more ink. Now when I dried it with a hair dryer, it did um, flatten for the most part all the way down once dry. So that was a good thing. I think my tape started to come undone a little bit on this top corner. But other than that, it really did start to dry flat again. So that was a good thing. Be a bad thing if it wasn't. So let me go ahead and get some of this ink. I don't really want to make too much of a mess, but let's go ahead and add in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we're going to do like another 15 more drops. And I say that because I added in 8 and it was translucent, very, very translucent. So I figured if I double it up and do like 15 more, that would mean that this one here is very strong. Like it should be stronger. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and spray some of this green on this bottom. And oh yeah. Now I don't have to add that much and I can actually really, really see the green. And some little blotches, but whenever I dried it, it should be fine. So let's go ahead and do some of this yellow but I'm going to add some more yellow to this so and I'm going to do since it is a very translucent I'm actually going to put in a lot more drops so I'm going to put in a whole dropper full So that was a whole dropper full of the yellow. And yes, I can really see that. So yeah, it's going to take, you know, a lot more than what I had before. So eight drops is not going to cover it. You'll have to go like a full drop or more. Let me see. What did I have for this one? It was the, I don't think it was that one. It was the, hold on. Nefofo. It's this one. Crimson. Now let's do it. I'm going to put in a whole dropper. a little bit more green to this bottom. I don't know. Could just be the operator, you know. Okay, some yellows. Maybe a little bit of, oh, the blue. Let's see here, maybe I shouldn't. I get yellows, a little bit of red. The blues might end up making it a purpley color. Hmm. I don't know. Might look really pretty 
actually with the purple. So let's go ahead and, well, I say it's purple. It's a type of purple. It's a deep violet. So what I want to do is kind of add a whole dropper of the deep violet. I am known to make messes, so I'm really hoping that this time I don't. Not when it comes to permanent stuff. Like permanent ink, I kind of worry myself just a little. Shake, 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 shake. All right, let's try it out. Ooh. Hmm. I like. All right, so now that I did that and I got it on my hands, so I'm probably going to have some discolored hands. Who knows? Yeah, I might. It'll be all right, though. You always, you probably guys are used to seeing my hands. will be like, oh my God, what is wrong with your hands? Yeah, I kind of get into everything and everything. So I am. And this is such a mess. Oh! Uh oh, I see where I missed the paper right there. You can definitely see the difference. Let's see if I can't get that covered back up. All right, now, what a mess. I'm glad I put this paper down, but underneath I actually put down a cardboard and I'm gonna try and soak up some of this because when I use the hair dryer, I don't want it blowing some of this mixed mud ink into the painting, so. Throw that away. Go ahead and throw that away. Uh -oh. Looks like we have some. So now I'm just going to go ahead and take this off because it is, I'm pretty sure, met its fate. Pretty much has met its fate. So I'm going to fold it in a way that it doesn't get all over everything. Or the floor, because or me. All right, I made it. I made it to the trash can. Woohoo! Without a mess. I'm going to take a wipe off these outside edges here. Just to make sure that I don't, that the tape is adhered or adhesed or, I don't know, stuck to the board. And now I'm going to go ahead and mute you guys and I'm going to go ahead and use a blow dryer. And I'm going to blow dry him. I see a little bit of coloration right here. I don't want that to get into it and blow it with the hairdryer back in. All right, I think that'll work. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and mute you guys.
So that way you guys don't hear the noisy blow dryer. So now I went ahead and got this dry and as you can see it has like little speckles in it and it looks kind of like an airbrush or like a paint like someone spray painted it. It's really soft and it really does look very very good. I'm actually very happy with the way it looks and here's a little closer view to it too so that way maybe you can see the little speckles that's in it and it's a really pretty speckles it's almost like a spray paint type of speckly look you can see the greens and then you can see these little red speckles from where the red ink um, kind of got onto the green and made this little splatter kind of speckly look and here maybe you can see it a little better with the yellow it shows the yellow and then it has like this beautiful little speckles of red and then you got the green so you got transition from green to yellow with these little red speckles so in all it came out very very pretty i know i had a little corners right there that i needed to it was kind of on the top i needed to uh go over but you can always put like things over the top of this and see those little dots like those little bigger speckles you know if you're using a brush with the ink you can easily put like palm trees or ocean or something in the background to cover those up so in all reality i actually really truly love the way it turned out and i took a picture of it so that way you guys can see it uh, a little bit better because I know with all the lights and everything but there it is and I absolutely love it and would I recommend this to anybody yes I would I mean it's really fun and it's nice to experiment and it makes a great addition if you use the fiber castell pit markers or these pit pins to be able to create a background without having those brush marker strokes in the back you can actually get a soft background to whatever you're doing and it still be the in the ink realm so you're still sticking within the same medium well I hope you guys enjoyed this if you did please leave a like and subscribe and also remember to click the little bell notification so that way YouTube can notify you when I have my next video I guess I'll just see you all later <laughs> bye